The Universal One by Dr. Walter Russell The Universal One, Volume One, First Principles Book One, Chapter Nine, Sex Opposites of Light Light is the power which God has used to create the appearance of form. Light is power for man to use in the perfection of his body. Therefore must he know the cause of light as he knows his alphabet. He must understand the inexhaustible source of energy which continues matter in motion if he would know the fullness of energy available to his command. The rhythm of creative thinking is absolute. The registration of creative thinking is absolute. All thinking is creative thinking. All thinking is creating that which it is thinking. Man's power of thinking is in sex opposition of mind. God's power of expressing himself is in transforming that which is his own body into an effect which man calls creation. The Universal One has no other means of expressing idea save through his own body. Man's power of expressing the idea of himself is only through his own body. Man has expressed himself through the creation of his own body by his own thinking, exactly as God has expressed himself through the creation of his own body by his own thinking. Man's body is but an individual effect of the whole of man and is the product of his thinking. The universe is the total of all individual effects and is the product of God's thinking. God's thinking is man's thinking. All thinking is the product of mind and all mind is divine mind. Again must it be written, there are not two minds nor are there two kinds of minds in the universe. Light is God's medium of expressing himself. It is the only medium at his command. Light is man's medium of expressing himself. It is the only medium at his command. Creation of that which man calls form has a perpetual beginning and a perpetual ending. Its beginning is in thinking. Its end is in thinking. Its beginning is its ending. It has no beginning. It has no ending. There is no stop, no break in the continuity of thinking. To man, its beginning is its appearance within his octaves of perception. To man, its ending is its disappearance beyond his range of perception. Form is born of the desire to express idea. Form is the plaything of idea. All form is form of sex. Idea is never satisfied with form. Form of idea is continuously changing with the process of thinking. Form is born anew with each impulse of thinking. Idea is reasserted in new form with each impulse of thinking. All idea of mind is integrated through generative or male sex thinking. All idea of mind is disintegrated through radiative or female sex thinking. All idea of mind is reproduced through the regenerative union of sex thinking, which is equilibrium of sex. Idea of mind may mature or evolve only through sex union. Consider any idea of mind, whether that of an individual man or of the universal one. 
Man thinks idea. Thinking is the force of motion. All motion is expressed in waves. All waves of motion are both male and female. All motion is oscillatory action and reaction. Action is male, reaction is female. All idea is registered in light as an appearance of the form of idea. Form of substance is electromagnetic. This means that it is preponderantly male and preponderantly female in periodicity. All idea evolves from idea into form of idea, which in turn devolves back again into idea. Evolution is growth. Devolution is dissolution. Evolution is male. It is electrically preponderant. Devolution is female. It is magnetically dominant. Man can only mature idea through the orderly periodicities of sex thinking. To evolve idea, he must think in light. General active light is the creative force of sex thinking. Radioactive light is the decreative force of sex thinking. Union of these two opposites into the constant of one, which is in equilibrium and has impacted in inertia, is the reproductive force. Sex is a dimension of the illusion of form, and as such it will be further considered with other dimensions of illusion, which will be written down and charted. If you are finding value in my channel, please consider supporting me to bring you more quality productions by liking, subscribing, hitting the notification bell, sharing with your network, and if you are in a position to do so, by leaving a donation. And you can see a link to do that in the description section below. Thank you for watching.